Welcome to the Picks and Parlays Rapid Fire Round. I'm your host, Allie Burns, and with me today is Craig Trapp. He's going to fly through five college football picks and give you his play. The promo code of the week is DOG. Use it and save 15% on the entire site. Craig Trapp, how are you doing today? Excited. I think this week, uh, you know, we had, do have some COVID cancellations, but we've taken them out and put in a couple extra games, and we've got some good ones for you for week 12. Yes, yes, we do. So the first one, first round game, Indiana at Ohio State. The Hoosiers are 4-0, 2-0 on the road. Buckeyes are 3-0, 2-0 at home. Ohio State's a huge favorite, minus 20 and a half, and the total is 66 and a half. Well, you saw Indiana, how good they've been this year. I mean, they're absolutely uh, the best Indiana team since the mid-80s. And Ohio State, <laughs> they're always loaded. So um, we expected Ohio State to be favored. I didn't expect it to be this much. I was thinking more like um, under 17 or under. So we're getting 20 and a half. I think that's just too many points. I'm going to take the Indiana Hoosiers here plus the 20 and a half. I think the Indiana Hoosiers don't win, but I think they they show that this this – Hoosier team is closing the gap on the big schools like Ohio State. I'm with you. I actually already took that bet. Up next, we've got second round game, Wisconsin at Northwestern. The Badgers are 2-0, 1-0 on the road. Northwestern is 4-0, 2-0 at home. Wisconsin minus 7. The total is 44. Well, neither one of these teams have lost a game against the spread. Uh, Wisconsin uh, 2-0 against the spread. Uh, Northwestern 3-0-1 against the spread. But Northwestern is one of those teams that when they're good, they're really tough to beat at home, especially as an underdog. And this is one of uh, Pat Fitzgerald's best teams I think he's ever had. I think having that extra few games under belt, maybe for some would be a negative, but I think it's a positive for Northwestern. I just think their confidence is sky high. Wisconsin couldn't probably be at a better spot to get beat after just mowing through uh, Michigan and um, and an opening week and had a couple weeks off. I think Northwestern has a shot at the win outright. So I'm going to take Northwestern plus seven. And I also think this under is is really low. 44 in college football in the days we live in is low, but I think it's going to probably go under. But my better play, definitely going to be Northwestern plus the points here. I'm with you on that one too. All right, we're rolling along. Another second round game. I know you're keeping your eye on this one. It's Cincinnati <laughs> at Central Florida. The Bearcats are seven and zero. Oh. Only one and zero oh on the road, though. UCF is five and two, two and one at home. Since he's the favorite, minus six, and the total is sixty three and a half. Well, I don't think UCF is the team that everybody remembers of the last few years. When, of course, they ran through college football and were kind of the toast of football, and even were left out of the championship, of course. But uh, I think this team, Cincinnati, has that type of potential. I mean, they're very, very good on offense. Uh, they're very good on defense. And I just, Central Florida was never good on defense. They have some glaring holes and their defense continues to just allow big plays after big plays. Cincinnati is one of those teams that will hold the possession for like five or uh, five or six minutes. And that's a problem. UCF likes to score and keep that other team's defense on the field. I don't think that's going to happen this week. I think Cincinnati wins. I liked it early in the week at minus three. Now it's six. Uh, but I think as long as we get this under that six number, I think Cincinnati's the play. And that total at 63 and a half, I think it's just too high. Cincinnati is so good on defense. I just don't think they're going to score nearly as fast as what they normally do at Central Florida, that is. And I think the under is the play as well. But my better play, going to take Cincinnati. Kind of a biased play. Obviously, I'm a Cincinnati guy, but uh, I like Cincinnati Bearcats at minus six here. I'm with you on this one, and I love this game to go under. It's one of those that I think it looks so obviously over to, like, your public better, but Cincinnati's defense is not getting respected if you're taking this game over. I agree it should go under. Third round game, Tennessee at Auburn. The Vols are 2-4. and four. They're 1-2 and two on the road. Tigers are 4-2, and 3-0 and oh at home. Auburn's a favorite here, minus 11. We got a total of 50 and a half. Well, <laughs> This is like, who do you hate less? Uh, because Tennessee has just been gosh awful away from road. 0-2 and 1 against the spread on the road this season. And then you've got Auburn that Bo Nix has just not been good this year. The reason why they're 3-3 three and three against the spread is Bo Nix continues to make miss wide open guys, turnovers. It's like, you know, right when they have some things going, he'll just end drives when it should be, you know, uh, drive extenders. 
So to me, you have to say, which do you hate less? And to me, I think I hate uh, Auburn offense a little less than Bo Nix. So I'm going to take Auburn here, minus 11. Don't absolutely love this side. I think the total as well would go under. I just think Tennessee, if they win, it has to be a grind it out type game. So I think they're going to try to run the ball, play defense, and then try to win it late. So to me, I think the under is the play as well. Maybe my under would be the better of the two between Auburn and uh, under. So I'll take the under 50 and a half as my better play. All right, last one. We've got a late round game. This is the one I'm most excited to watch this week. Oklahoma State is at Oklahoma. The Cowboys are 5 and 1. They're 2 and 0 oh on the road. The Sooners are 5 and 2, 2 and 1 at home. Sooners are the favorite minus 7. The total's at 59. Well, it seems low, doesn't it for a, for an Oklahoma and, and a Big 12 uh, matchup to have 59 on a total when I mean, we're used to seeing these in the 60s, you know, high 60s a lot of times. Uh two offenses that, you know, have been a little inconsistent this year and and to me Oklahoma State is a really good team, but are they at Oklahoma level? I don't know. I think Oklahoma has a, has a chance. Even though they have two losses on the year, they're one of those teams that continues to impress me and get better as the season goes on. I think Oklahoma's the play at minus seven. I also think the over, I just think there's a lot of value on an over of 59 in, in the Big 12 when Oklahoma's on the field is, is always uh, something I'd be looking for. But my better play, I'm going to take the Sooners minus seven. Well, there you have it, people. Your free rapid fire picks from Craig Trapp himself. Take them to the bank and cash some tickets. Those are your free plays from Picks and Parlays.